Welcome back to another video. So I'm using my new practice hand today. Um, I'm giving it a little practice. Oh my god guys, I struggled. I hated it, but I need to get used to it. So I'm using my new easy tips from Glitter Planet. These are stiletto in clear. I've already stuck a couple on already. Um, and what I'm using as my nail bed is the flexi tips from Glitter Planet as well. Um, yeah, I struggled with this set today on this hand. I really need to get used to it. It's a lot smaller than my flexi fingers. I think I need to put smaller tips on, especially this middle finger. Yeah, so I'm just using regular brush on nail glue to stick these tips on. And then I'm just going to quickly file over where I've glued it on and blend it in with my with the natural nail. And then just quickly buff off the shiny surface to the nail tips as well. So I'm going to use Madame Glam's Builder in a Bottle today. This one is Builder Light Beige. I threw myself right in at the deep end. I should have just done a simple gel polish set to get the feel for just the side walls on it. And yeah, but no, I threw myself in at the deep end with Builder Gel of all things, one of the hardest things to use. So anyway, this first layer, I'm just mapping out like I do where I want my nail bed to go. Just a really thin layer, and then that just helps this next bead that I put on that is a thicker bead. It just helps keep it in that area where I want it to be. And yeah, I'm just gonna quickly give this a 30 second cure, half a cure, it normally takes 60. And I'm gonna give it another couple of layers as well, curing just a half a cure in between each layer. And the last layer, I will give it a 60 second cure. So I'm using Madame Glam's Builder White now. I've done another nail bed on the ring finger, exactly the same as what I've just done on the pointer finger. Um, this middle finger nail, middle nail, <laughs> is just going to be a full white nail. So again, going in with a slip layer, rubbing it right into all them scratches. And then I'm going to do a couple more layers and build up a bit of strength and structure. I slapped it straight into the cuticle area. Um, and it were bugging me, so I had to get a little clean up brush and just wipe that little drip away that was touching the cuticle. So I'm just going to do one thin layer, cover the whole nail, half cure that, and then I'm going to go in with a thicker layer just to build up a little bit of an apex. And again, I'll give that a full 60 second cure.
So I'm just filing this one nail bed to show you. I start by filing over the top. By filing over the top, it just helps when I do file up the sides. It just helps me see that I've got it crisp and I've got it neat. And then I just use my metal file to go around the sides. And just, just get it nice and straight, nice and straight and nice and even on each side. Straight in with the file on this practice hand. But you can file on these practice hands. They're really strong and durable. Um, so yeah, I like that about this hand. So, sticking with Madame Glam, I'm going to use one of their cat eyes. This one's called Frizzante. Um, and I'm just going to put this on the free edge of both those nail bed nails. Painting it. I'm just using Madame Glam's detailer brush just to get it right up into them corners. And I'm going to paint the full free edge of these nails. And I'm going to just swipe the magnet down each side. I just wanted the, the shine the magnetic shine to be kind of down the middle oh my gosh guys these gel polishes are stunning so I'm just gonna grab the magnet and look I just swipe it down that side swipe it down the other side and look what it does it gives you that silver kind of shine oh my gosh that is stunning so they've had a 30 second cure beautiful in it I love them so this is a new product for me I've never used Madame Glam's Blooming Gel. So I'm going to use it on this white nail. Just a nice even coat of the Blooming Gel. And something I've never done before as well. I'm just going to use that cat eye gel polish with a small detailer brush. And I'm going to do two roses. I'm starting with the middle of the rose and just doing two little swipes. I did have to be quite quick because my room's really warm. The blooming gel was quite warm and a bit runnier than it would normally be. And I'm just getting those little swipes bigger as the rose goes out. And you'll see it blooming. It kind of starts dispersing and spreading up the nail. And I'm going to quickly stick that in the lamp because I didn't want it to spread out any further. I did actually add a little bit more to the middle swooshes because it just spread out to the point where you couldn't see it. So I've just quickly gone over them again. And then I'm going to stick it straight in the lamp for 30 seconds. Right, now that's cured, I'm going to use Madame Glam's white gel paint. And I'm just, again, I'm going to use a little detailer brush. And I'm just going to outline just the outside of what would be the rose petals. No, I'm lying. I'm outlining the inside of the rose petals. Just a little skinny white line on the inside of each of those swooshes. And then I'm going to cure that for 60 seconds. This gel paint cures in a lamp for 60 seconds. I've got um, a 30% discount code for Madame Glam, guys, as well. It's always in my description box with a link to the website. So I'm just giving these free edge nails, free edge nails, yeah, I'm just giving the free edge of the pointer and the ring 
quick base coat and I'm going to put some glitter. I did start out with this iridescent white glitter um, and you really couldn't see it much at all. So I then went in and added a little bit of the holographic as well. I didn't want um, a, a powerful glitter because I think that cat eye gel polish was enough. But I just wanted a little bit of tiny bit of sparkle up just up the top by the edge of that nail bed but yeah you really couldn't see this one I, I, I wanted it subtle but not that subtle <laughs> so I'm just going to stick a little bit of this holographic on as well um, and then the pinky wait and see the, this glitter go everywhere in a minute guys I'm going to completely cover the pinky in glitter so I'm going to stick these in the lamp for 30 seconds and then I'm going to give the pinky a quick base coat as well This glitter just, it's so weird, it, it just repels and wants to stick to the hand. Can you see it just flying off to the left to just grab the hand? Oh my gosh, it was everywhere, everywhere. So I've stuck that in the lamp for 30 seconds and spent about half an hour clearing up all this glitter. So I've just give this glitter nail a generous layer of top coat before I encapsulated it, I didn't want to get any more glitter anywhere. I wanted it sealed in. So I'm going to get these all encapsulated. Now I'm using a clear builder gel from a different brand because I haven't got one from Madam Glam. So yeah, I'm just getting these encapsulated. I'm going to give them a file and a buff and then we can get them top coated and finished. Right guys, I'm just going to give these a quick top coat. I'm not putting any bling or anything on this set. Um, yeah, I really struggled with this set. I wasn't happy with it in terms of um, my shaping. I had to really file them down short because I think I put tips on that were too big. And But they turned out really pretty. They did. I love that blooming gel. I'm going to use that some more because I think there's some really cool designs you could do with that. Um, but I'm going to get these stuck in the lamp one last time for 30 seconds and that'll be them done. There we go guys, that is them finished. That glitter is beautiful. I love it. I do. And that cat eye gel polish is stunning. It really is. Anyway guys, that is it for today. I'm going to do a few quick sets this week using gel on my practice hand. I need to get used to it because I really didn't enjoy that last night. I struggled. Um, but yeah, that's it for today guys. Please remember to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Hit your notification bell as well so you don't miss any of my videos. And hopefully I'll see you all back in my next one. Take care. Bye.